Hi everyone, I am Jandy the Artsy Rose and I am, I don't know how far I'm going to get in this story, but I'm doing this at the last minute. I'm actually going to try and get Spade's whole story. I've got one more day, I have maxed out all the friends that I can get, and why not, why not try? I think I had, I've pretty much, what, I, I was able to get... I think I can do this. I think I can do this. I have, uh, I have everything I need. Well, I don't have everything I need. I have the sandals and the hair piece. I don't have the kimono, but I can take care of that because I have a gift card. <sighs> I'm trying to divide up the $50 that I have on the gift card for uh, three other characters uh, for the uh, dating sim run-throughs that I need to do. But uh, anyway, I'll take care of that. Any and. Uh, so, let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy some springtime with Spade. Welcome to Spade's Seasonal Lover spinoff. I can't think of anything else besides making love to you. Well, okay, Catman. <laughs> yes, I want to do some Spade. I want to do... Please don't look at it that way. I feel terrible for saying that. I feel ter Let's do Spade's story. Chapter 1, Seasonal Lover with Spade. I searched for Spade, wanting to use the orb of seasons I received from Humphrey with him. Spade's usually around. I go to the courtyard, and just like I thought, I see him sitting on the grass. Hello, Spade! He's not doing anything besides absentmindedly staring at the yard. Spade, I thought you'd be here! I call out to him, and he slowly turns around. Mina, do you need anything? You seem kind of down. What's the matter? Nothing is the matter. Spade sluggishly stands up and sits back down on the bench. He says it's nothing, but lately he's often just staring at the courtyard like this. There's also another reason. That's also another reason why I want to use the Orb of Seasons and cheer Spade up. He's probably bored. I sit next to him, worried. I got this from Humphrey. Look. I take out the clear the clear ball from my pocket. It's one of Humphrey's inventions, and it's called the Orb of Seasons. If you touch this and wish for it strongly, you can go anywhere during whichever season you want. I tell Spade what Humphrey had explained to me. Spade's eyes gradually start to twinkle, and his expression begins to soften. Is that true? It's possible to feel the sunlight. It is. Is there anywhere you want to go? Are any season you want to experience? A spring meadow. Ah! Oh. Spade instantly replies. A meadow that goes on forever, unlike this garden that's surrounded by buildings on all four sides. A blue sky without a single cloud, brilliant rays of the sun, the chirping of birds, butterflies dancing, and the smell of fresh grass. I want to bask in the sun, surrounded by all those. Spade says happily, almost as if he were in a trance. That's right, you really did like to bask in the sun, didn't you? Yes, I would love to feel sleepy under the warm sun again. <sighs> Spade, who had been a cat until recently, turned into a human once and then became a vampire for me. Well, that spoiled the story for me. <laughs> oh well. Unlike a cat that had all the freedom in the world, he has to work at the hotel now. He was probably feeling down recently because he was tired, both mentally and physically, from the changes in environment. Well, while he's not a cat anymore, I am familiar that cats hate changes in their routine. <laughs> but I think this previous cat can take on these changes. Can't he? Can't he? <laughs> wow. Well, obviously I'm only going to get half of this chapter. Obviously. Hopefully, I will be able to...
Alright. Then we're going to the spring meadow. I'm just double checking again because I I just want to be sure. This is... Is that alright? How about what you want? If it's a place you want to go to, I'd love to go. Nina, thank you. Spade smiles softly and hugs me. We move to my room, and I take out the Orb of Seasons again to use it. Put your hand on the Orb of Seasons. Um, is it really okay for them to do this? Do they have a day off? Because sometimes they have to do that. <laughs> like, alright. Like this? Spade puts his hand over the Orb of Seasons. Now, we have to wish together. Ready? Go! I imagine a spring meadow. A bright light envelopes us. When the light dies down, Spade and I are standing in a vast meadow. We were in your room, right? Yes, we still are, technically. Spade takes the Orb of Seasons and stares at it curiously. So this is the effect of the Orb of Seasons? We need that to go back, so keep it safe. I will. Spade puts the Orb of Seasons away in his pocket. This is really amazing, though. I can't believe it's an illusion! Humphrey said that it was going to be like a realistic dream. But the scenery that spreads out before me is even more beautiful than what I imagined. Green grass continues on forever in the spring meadow. I smell flowers. And bees are flying. The gentle wind, the smell of grass, and the chirping of birds, and so on. They all seem so real that I can feel them with my five senses. Even my skin starts to get warmer under the bright sun. I might get sunburned. I wonder how long it's been since I felt this much sun. I don't care if it's an illusion. I like it. I have to say, this is one of Humphrey's better inventions. <laughs> uh, that's an interesting thing coming from a cat who has been, what? Uh, uh, how long has Humphrey, um, Humphrey, Spade, how long has Spade been living at the hotel as a cat? Spade starts running around, starts running around the grass. I was not getting enough exercise lately. <laughs> oh no, oh no, did I, did I? Is that enough? Is that all? Was that all the dialogue? I hope so. What? Another love challenge already? Well, I hope it's not the one that I'm thinking of. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Let me get back to my story. <laughs> Let's get back to our story. Let's get back. Toodles, toodles, toodle, toodle along. Toodle along. Spade runs all over as he pleased. Spade runs. Goodness gracious. Spade runs all around as he please. Light up, Spade! I chase after Spade, but I quickly run out of my breath and stop. How energetic is this guy? <sighs> running still makes me tired. I follow Spade, who is still running, with my eyes. He runs across the meadow at full speed and then climbs onto a tall tree. He dangles from a branch and jumps down and jumps back down. He hides himself in the bushes and then jumps playfully at some resting at some resting birds. <laughs> While he's running, a butterfly catches his attention and he nimbly changes he nimbly changes directions. He's just like a cat! And he's not even a cat right now! <laughs> I've never seen Spade move. I've never seen Spade move around this much, even when he was a cat. Really? Wow. That <laughs> says something. Maybe he was holding a lot of things in this. Maybe he was holding a lot of things in this whole time. Spade runs around. Spade runs towards me. He's just really happy. Mina, you're already tired. Yeah, I don't have the endurance. Even though I wish I could run with you. All right, leave it to me then. What's he gonna do, carrier? Disgusted! Spade scoops me up into his arms and starts running again. Spade! You'll get tired really quickly at this rate! No problem! 
Spade runs around laughing. <laughs> he doesn't look tired at all. I wrap my arms around Spade's neck and lean my body against his. It feels like I'm running like the wind. I'm surprised that you were this strong. I can run as long as I want. It feels like I'm a wild cat again. Were you Titania's cat the whole time? Not a wild one? You got me. You got me. <laughs> wait, wait. You were Titania's cat the whole time? No, you were, Titan you were Titania's pet cat the whole time? You were Titania's cat the whole time, not a wild one. You got me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm still... He was a pet cat! What? What? Holy cow! Spade continues to run as if he were gliding, but he trips over a grass root. Uh, really? A grass root? Oh! Ah! <laughs> I float him through the air for a second, but Spade catches me. He isn't even able to recover his balance, though, and we both end up falling to the ground. <laughs> We roll down the grassy hill, both of us still in each other's arms. Mina, are you alright? Oh, wow. <laughs> We're only halfway through this chapter. We're only halfway through this chapter, and this is already a lot of fun. Spade isn't a half bad character. <laughs> Although, I'm... I know I'm only seeing a side of him that we're not gonna see in his original story. But this still isn't a half bad story. This isn't this isn't half bad at all. I'm lightheaded. I'm I am Dandy the Artsy Rose, and this is I I really hope to finish up the story before the end of tomorrow. What?